guys, back in 2015, Cardi B decided to sign a deal with her ex-manager, um, which his name was Raphael. Um, she signed a deal with this man without a lawyer, which provided her former manager with a 20% cut of her earnings. She said he breached their deal by failing to provide monthly accounting, failed to appoint an independent business manager, and for not providing her with adequate payments owed to her. Cardi recently amended her lawsuit to now seek $30 million in damages from Raphael Shaft. So now Cardi is now suing her ex-manager Raphael because she claims that despite him having a duty to act in her best interest, he took advantage of her trust and naivety and persuaded her to sign the contracts and to enter into deals in which Mr. Raphael attempted to take an unreasonable and unconsiderable portion of her earnings, her earnings in the entertainment industry for himself. So Cardi B is now suing Raphael for $15 million in damages and she's accusing him of screwing her over after she entrusted him and his companies with many um, aspects of her business affairs. So according to The Blast, Cardi B has went back to court trying to block a videotape of her and private text messages from Offset from being released. According to court documents obtained by The Blast, Cardi is now concerned her upcoming videotape deposition, which is scheduled for later this month, she will be grilled by her former manager Shaft in their dwelling lawsuits. So she is basically pleading with the judge um, to order the videotape to be sealed and released to the media or the public because she believes that if this videotape is released, it could turn into a media frenzy and be posted all over social media. So you guys know that Cardi B, she absolutely hates TMZ, YouTube, anybody who speaks negatively about her. She does not like them. Um, the only YouTuber that I do know that she's really cool with is Lovely T. Um, and you guys do know about the beef with Tasha K and Cardi B. If you guys hadn't seen the beef between these two, you, sh you guys should go to Unwind with Tasha K YouTube page. And then you can see the beef between the two. But Cardi um, doesn't want any public release of this video. Um, because it poses a significant risk of harm and misuse on social media platforms because it is highly likely that any such video will be reproduced and edited and possibly manipulated into an out-of-text video clips and GIFs. Or she feels as if though the media gets any of these video clips, they would be widely posted on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter and remain available through trial in her case. And so she feels like this would be an invasion of her privacy if they don't seal the video and text messages from her and Offset. Um, so she's expected to be grilled about her financial records and private communications, including text conversations between her husband, Offset, and other family members. And she wants all of this information to be sealed from the public. The judge has not ruled on whether he's going to seal the documents from the public or not. But the courts are asking um, Car Cardi B's father, Carlos Amanzer, um, which he was served with a subpoena in the case. Um, Offset was ser served with a subpoena. And Hennessy Carolina, her sister, was um, subpoenaed in the case as well. So, you guys, I think that Cardi B is finally learning to keep all of her business out of off of social media, out of the public eye, because every time Cardi does anything, um, she does get talked about on YouTube. She does get talked about on Instagram, Facebook. Anywhere there's a social media platform, Cardi B gets talked about. So, in my opinion, it would be juicy if we all got the information from the text messages and private videos between her and Offset. Um, but I also think it's a good idea for her to fight to keep this out of the public eye because if she's going to continue to be 
a superstar she needs to learn to keep certain things off of social media which she's very young which is very hard for her to stay off of social media because this is the age where everything goes on social media but what do you guys think about cardi b wanting to keep this videotape and private text messages um off of social media and for it to be sealed by her by the judge um you guys let me know what you think do you guys think that she should seal the records or do you think that the judge should release the videotape and private text messages so cardi being offset definitely definitely do put all of their business on social media every time there's a live with cardi b she's talking about something the live is never short and sweet it's always personal and up close so since she's such a public figure and always in the public eye do you guys think her video should be released or do you guys think her video and private text messages should be sealed from the public you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below don't forget to hit the like button on this video don't forget to hit the share button and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video personally i would like to see the judge release this videotape i would like to see the judge release these text messages because i do want to know what's going on in this court case because i'm nosy like that um you guys let me know if you think the judge should release these tapes or seal these tapes and text messages down below in the comments guys don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to share the video and please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more royalty thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching my videos if you guys enjoy my videos and want to see the channel grow you can like the videos and subscribe to my youtube channel you guys can also donate to the channel at cash app slash princess chun li thank you guys for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe